Norma Montserrat Bustamante Lafert, born on 2 May 1983, known professionally as Mon Lafert, is a Chilean singer, songwriter and actress, who is currently the most listened Chilean artist on Spotify worldwide. She is also the Chilean artist with the most nominations in a single edition of the Latin Grammy Awards, 5 in 2017. To date she has sold in Latin America 1,500,000 digital copies between albums and singles, making her the Chilean singer with the most sales in the digital era. She received a Latin Grammy in 2017 for Best Alternative Song for Amaram. Mon Lafert was born Norma Monserrat Bustamante Lafert in Vina del Mar, Chile. She started her career at the age of nine, after winning a guitar in a singing contest. She received a scholarship to attend a musical conservatory in Vina del Mar at the age of 13, and soon after began playing in bars in Valparaiso and Santiago. In 2003, Lafert, then known as Montserrat Bustamante, entered in the Chilean reality competition series Rojo. The same year she released her first studio album, La Chica de Rojo. The album had great success in Chile, receiving gold and platinum certifications. She became part of the clan Rojo or Red Clan, and was on the television series for four seasons. In 2007, Lafert decided to start a new chapter in her musical career by moving to Mexico City from Chile, where she began singing in nightclubs and recording cover songs. In 2009, she released a single, Lo Miss Mo K Yo, which was to be the lead single from an upcoming album. The same year, Lafert was diagnosed with thyroid cancer, effectively putting a halt to her album. Around the time of her battle with cancer, she abandoned her original stage name and introduced the world to Mon Lafert, expressing that the name represented a new beginning for her. Lafert decided to scrap the album she was recording in 2009 and returned two years later with her second studio album, titled Desigible. The next year, in 2012, she was invited to judge the second season of the Chilean version of The X Factor, called Factor X, along with Karen Dogjenweiler, Tito Beltran and Jose Luis Rodriguez. It is also at this time her presentation at the beginning of 2012 as a vocalist of the Mexican heavy metal female band Mystica Girls, with whom in February 2014, she recorded the album titled Gates of Hell. In 2013, she released her third album, Tornasol. She received media attention in 2015 with her single, Two Falta de Quer, which could be translated as Lack of Love, from the album On Lafert, Volume 1. In 2016, she won a MTV Millennial Award for the Latin Video of the Year and receiving two nominations on the Latin Grammy Awards of 2016 for Best New Artist and Best Alternative Music Album. Lafford released her fifth album La Trenza, her most acclaimed album to date, in 2017. Her single with Colombian rock star Juan S. Tie Me Up won the Best Alternative Song Award at the 18th Latin Grammys, in which she was also nominated for Best Alternative Music Album, Song of the Year, Album of the Year, and Record of the Year. She also won the category Best North Latin Artist in the 2017 MTV Europe Music Awards. In October 2013, Lafford became a vegetarian for ethical reasons. As of 2017, she is a vegan. In February 2018, she released the single Antis de Tior Before You that was nominated to the 19th Annual Latin Grammy Awards as Song of the Year. The video for the single was also Mon Lafert's directorial debut. In June 2018, she co-hosted the 2018 MTV Millennial Awards in Mexico City at the Mexico City Arena, along with the Venezuelan YouTube personality La Devaza. During the year 2018, Mon worked on her sixth studio album, Norma, which was recorded in a single session in Studio A of Capitol Studios of Los Angeles, California, United States. The recording was made in one shot, without using the overdubbing technique of audio layers, but all the instruments playing simultaneously to give the material the feeling of live recording. In this recording 13 musicians participated. The production of this album was in charge of Omar Rodriguez Lopez, the recording engineer was Bruce Botnick. The album was released on 9 November 2018.
On 26 October, a collaboration was published for the new Christmas album of the American singer Gwen Stefani, in a version of the song Fellas Navidad by the Puerto Rican singer-songwriter Jose Feliciano. At the end of 2018, the international television network HTV nominated Mon Lafford in the Best Southern Artist category of the Heat Latin Music Awards 2019. In January 2019, she was announced to participate in the American music festival Coachella. In February 2019, Mon Lafford received her first nomination at the Billboard Latin Music Awards in the Top Latin Albums Artist of the Year category, Female. Also, the album Norma received a gold record in Mexico for 30,000 copies sold. In May 2019, the singer announced her US tour under the headline, La Gira de Norma or The Norma Tour. The first tour date is set for August 10, 2019, in Seattle's Neptune Theater, following a European tour that same summer. On 14 November 2019, Mon Lafford made headlines with her act of political protest, exposing her breasts at the Latin Grammys to display the message in Chile they torture, rape and kill, on her bare chest. On November 19, 2019, Mon Lafford was interviewed by Patricia Janute from Univision. In that interview, Mon Lafford justified the looting and burning of numerous supermarkets and other buildings by saying that they were only material goods. When asked if she condemned violence, she said, I do not approve of any kind of violence. Now, if you ask me personally, if I have to go burn down a supermarket that has robbed from me my entire life to demand the basic rights I feel I deserve, I will do it. She accused the police and armed forces of burning the dozens of subway stations that were burned by rioters on October 18, 2019. Mon Lafford at her solo exhibition in Mexico City. On November 30, 2019, Mon Lafford was subpoenaed by Chilean prosecutors to give a statement regarding the evidence she may or may not have to support her accusation that Chilean police and armed forces actively participated in the burning of subway stations. Chilean police announced that, depending upon her statement, they may press criminal charges against her. On 11 March 2020 she had her first solo exhibition at the Museum of the City of Mexico, including almost 70 artworks. Lafford commented she has painted for 10 years as a self-taught, but having some influence from her father, who is a painter himself. Thank you. You are invited to subscribe, share, and like.